Okay, so now we're going to zoom in to the spinal cord and look at it in, in more detail. So here's the spinal cord, um, part of the CNS. Um, big picture, I guess, thing is the inner portion. I'm going to shade it in yellow. This is all what's called gray matter, as you know. Um, so this is composed of cell bodies. You know that gray matter means there are it's primarily cell bodies. The area of the spinal cord that surrounds that is white matter. That's where there are columns of axons going either toward the brain or away from the brain. So white matter containing columns of axons. And I'll talk about that a little bit more in a separate video. Let's focus here that on the, the gray matter. So you can see there's different horns is what these are called. This one is the one at the front of the body. So it's called the ventral or anterior horn. The information from that ventral horn is going to leave out the ventral root. So this is also the ventral horn here. The root is actually part of the peripheral nervous system, technically, um, where the information exits and becomes um, eventually the spinal nerve. So let's actually go ahead and draw a neuron in this gray matter, a multipolar neuron. This is a motor neuron. Its axon is going to travel out via the spinal nerve. So I'll keep this black here, um, multipolar motor, somatic motor information is contained in this ventral horn. Now that is in contrast to some of the other horns. So let's do the lateral horn next, um, let's do this blue. Here is a lateral horn on the lateral side. It also controls motor information, um, especially the kind of the front part of it here has a multipolar neuron. It's also going to go out this ventral root, um, but this contains or carries autonomic motor information. So that's going to contact um, the viscera instead of skeletal muscles, which you know is what somatic motor is controlling. Way off in the periphery. Okay. Um, the last region of the gray matter is in back. So what that might, might that be called? The dorsal or posterior horn. And this is going to process sensory information. So information comes in here. I'm going to draw that's the axon terminal. Here's the axon. Where's my cell body? It's going to be right in here. Receiving information from the periphery. This is, I don't like those lines a unipolar sensory neuron. It's sensory. By the way, it's unipolar. Most sensory neurons are unipolar. Um, there's a whole bunch of them in this structure, which is called the dorsal root ganglion. The cell bodies are located there. Then the axons continue traveling through the dorsal root to the dorsal horn. Um, just one note here, I will add this. Um, somatic motor is, I'm sorry, somatic sensory is processed in the most dorsal portion. And then autonomic sensory is just 
ventral to that. So that would be kind of more like here. Not exactly. One more thing I want to draw here is some interneurons. So let's say this sensory neuron is bringing in information from where? This purple is bringing in information from the sensory system. So maybe it's, it's touch. Touch information comes in on this purple neuron, and that neuron is going to synapse wish with another neuron. This neuron I'm drawing, it could travel up to the brain. So this could be ascending. And or it could contact another neuron within the spinal cord within a similar segment. In this case, this neuron is called an interneuron. So the spinal cord itself can do its own integration without involving the brain um, via these interneurons that are going to transmit signals from sensory to motor output. Knee-jerk reflex is an example of that being able to happen with just a spinal cord processing. Okay, I like this image here um, showing basically the same thing I just showed um, with these kind of color-coded regions. Remember that visceral is the same thing as autonomic. So this is a nice resource to use. One more image I want to show you is I want to zoom into the dorsal root ganglion. So that looks like this, right? We're zooming in to that big bulge that comes off of the dorsal side right here. Zoom in there, this is what it looks like. Contains, um, remember posterior is the same as dorsal, same thing. What does it contain? Cell bodies of sensory neurons. So those sensory neurons are coming from the periphery, maybe the skin, lots of different sensory, or, or could be internal senses. Um, information's going this way. Here, I'm gonna draw a single one of these unipolar neurons. And then that travels to where? Posterior or dorsal root. To what horn? Dorsal horn. So even though it looks like these axons are going through, they're all connected to a cell body within here, those unipolar sensory processing cells. Um, the bottom half here, this is just showing the anterior root, also called the ventral root, motor information coming out, and that those axons are traveling past the dorsal root, combined with the dorsal root to form the spinal nerve. The spinal nerve contains both motor and sensory information.